Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome to part one of two of our Ultimate Vault Under Mode Legendary Run Speed Farm Highlights. So, today we are going to be looking at our first 11 episodes of worth of drops. So that's right from the Flacker all the way down to the uh, Iridium Vanquisher Com in uh, research and development. And uh, yeah, just a few clips of the actual drops and um, my reaction to them and all sorts of things like that. Like I said, this will be two parts. So the next part will go right up to the end. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed this series. Thank you and I hope you enjoy. And if you want to watch the original episodes, link in the description for the playlist for all of these. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Come on. Disgusting talk. Ass down here now. Here it comes. Oh no, he's frozen. Right. There we go. We've got a flacker. And I was one run off, which is the story of my life in this series. Juicy Flacker. Level 69. Damn it. He could have given us a level 70. But... There is our legendary for our first episode of Ultimate Vault on the Road Legendary Run Speed Farms. A nice, juicy flacker. There we go. Let's pick it up and, uh, yeah, have a little oh, flacker with claptrap. Then again, he doesn't take much to kill, actually. It's about seven bullets and he's dead. So, uh, yeah, it's not going to be too bad for ammo, this one. Especially if we get some headshots, but it's obviously a bit more than seven. There we go, we've got it, we have got it, and it's 17 runs, yes, I am so glad I changed my mind, I am so glad I changed my mind, right, let's switch to the T4SRs and clear the crap out of this area, there we go, anyone wants to come out, they can, but they're going to get screwed, mugger, you could screw off, I want to clear the area before I pick it up, where are you? You're there. You're there. And there's one more guy just there. Well, there you go, guys. We have got the Oxidizer in 17 runs. They're very nice. This one's at level 70 as well. It's less than my uh, O2 capacity. Ignite chance, 85%. Incendiary resistance, 36.9%. Health regeneration. And it's a corrosive slam. Kill it with fire. Even though it's corrosive. It's Oh, it's got an ignite chance. That's why. And... Uh, I do like that challenge of actually having to get it to drop. Um, a bit of money flew up here. Right. Let's go clear all this stuff up. What's that over there? Is that our drop? Wow, that was our drop. So that just goes to show that the Zim could appear at that point at some point as well. Let's grab all this if we can. Load of health. Don't know why we need all that health. It hardly touched us. Ammo. What's that? Oh, hello. Wow. Well, I was really far off on that one. That was five, six, seven, eight runs. Eight runs. And we got the Zim. There you go. Nice. So our slot two is our pickups. Our slot two is a Zim, actually. Well, that's the Zim that we got. So, uh, yeah. Zim time. i oh, best drop something then, because uh, I want to pick that up. <laughs> There's that guy just cryoing himself away. Right. Bruce, once again. Soon comes around. Right, let's just go straight for him here. No mucking about. Oh, this could go off the side of the cliff. Hey, there we go. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right, let's get all these guys down. Wow, we have got it. Oh, God, I was just sat there moaning as well. This could well be an hour episode. And, uh, oh, don't fall off the side of the cliff. This could well be an hour episode. And we've got it in six runs. We have a new leader as well, then, in Bruce. So, Giant Ash Struggriff took eight runs. This guy only took six. What a legend. I always liked Bruce. I always liked you, Bruce. Come on, let's finish with this wave of enemies so I can have a look at my new shield. There we go, they're down. One more guy here. Wow, how many enemies spawn? Ah, get away. 
Brucey, Brucey, baby, look at that. A nice supernova shield in six runs. I am so happy. That still took 20 minutes for six runs, but it's a 69 as well. So that's the legendary supernova run. It's frozen me and I'm down. But there's a guy spawned just there. He's going into the middle. This could be quite perfect if I can get this guy down. There we go. And now the split. Let's get them cryo to hell. And we've got the striker, I'm sure. I'm not going to get too excited just yet. But we've got the striker. I was absolutely mega, mega off right there. Wow. That is three runs. Three blooming runs. Nice. Right, where is it? Well, um, let's pick these up. I've lost it. There it is. Well, what a nice, easy episode. Crisis Scar is the place to be, for sure. So, let's go ahead and pick that up, and uh, we'll go open this chest up and give it a try out. Wow, you are making my job so easy, guys. Crisis Scar, what a place. Yeah, definitely not looking forward to that. Well, this is run number six, so it's uh, make or break time for my guest right now. If he doesn't drop it this time, then I am wrong. There you go, I've got another one right. Wow. Five episodes down, and I've guessed right twice now. In the uh, in the Borderlands 2 version of this, I did. I think I did 40 odd episodes, and I only guessed right once. I think so. Uh, yeah, buzzing right now. I am going so swimmingly. This is going easy, 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 easy. Well, there is yet another. What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Don't capitalize on my success by trying to get in shot go away but uh, yeah there we go we've got a fatale in six runs not only did that hardly take anything but it's yet another quick farm and i guess right so uh, yeah this is probably one of my favorite weapons in the game the fatale i love it it's basically uh, it's like the bitch from um from borderlands 2 uh, but only in cryo element so let's see if we... are you kidding me one shot and we're down. Right, that's that's not right, that. Right, well, we're going to screw you then. There you go. Is that it? That's a cryophobia. Oh, my God. I can see that straight away. Quick, let's get that down and let's get back up. Holy hell. <laughs> wow. Wow, oh, my voice went really high then. But, Jesus, two runs. I love this game. <laughs> I love this series anyway, especially. Wow, two runs for the cryophobia. I guessed 11 on that one. Speechless, absolutely speechless. There was me just saying, I'll wait till after this to uh, reply to that text as well. Well, I'm gonna get to reply to it very quickly. So guys, let's uh, get our magical slot two of pickups going and uh, get our legendary cryophobia in hand. So, no argument here, exactly. I'm not arguing either, seized by that. So uh, yeah, today we're going to be farming Meg down in this little trash jumpster thing. And uh, hopefully we can get ourselves a drop pretty quickly. Um, so Meg's pretty easy to farm really. She just uh, takes a bit of time, takes a bit of work. But uh, hopefully we can get her to go down and drop ourselves a torrent. So that is our legendary... Uh... Right, let me tell you a little story right now. Last episode I said about the bosun. Uh, I'm going to stop and tell this story as well. I'm not going to move. Last episode, I said about the bosun um, dropping it in two runs and managed to, uh, yeah, managed to get it to drop in two runs. And I said, wow, can anyone beat him right now? Um, two runs is the leader. The only person that can get this, uh, beat him, is if anyone drops it in one run. Then I said, we're going to go on to Meg. Um, next and I said and I will let you guys into a little bit of a secret uh, in fact I might play the footage after I've started talking to this um, of that but I said let you into a little secret uh, I've farmed Meg a few times now for various different videos and in them videos first time I farmed her she has dropped the torrent so if anyone's brave enough to put one run down in the guess then uh, yeah go for it um, and I said, I'm not trying to influence you, but if anyone's going to do it, it will be Meg. I'll probably play that footage right now for you guys. Yeah. Next, we'll be going Hyperion Hub of Aerism, and we'll be farming Meg. Um, and I will let you into a little bit of a secret. Um, Meg, I have farmed her before for various different videos. Um, and she has dropped uh, 
her legendary torrent first time about three times I've gone to farmer so uh, yeah we might be for a one runner there I don't know I'm not trying to influence your guys guess there but if anyone is brave enough to guess one uh, this is probably the person to do it so uh, uh, but yeah <laughs> You should have listened to me if you did. Uh, if you did listen to me and put one run, then well done. I cannot believe that. She has dropped it in one run. Well, this is going to be a seriously short episode. And I mean seriously short episode. Next, turn around and uh, head over past where you've just come from. And uh, to the left. To the left, to the left. Um, that is the second door he can appear at. Sometimes it opens when you run towards it, but I've also found, there you go, just on cue. Hello, Bob. There he is, then. That is run number one. Let's uh, go for it. There we go. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Guys, I promise you, that is my first run of Corporal Bob. What is going on with these episodes? What is going on? Hyperion Hub of Heroism is the new place to be. God, I thought Crisis Scar was good with uh, drop rates. Wow, well, this is making my job a hell of a lot easier. I bet no one guessed that. Right, let's just make sure that we get everyone down here. We've got another one of these blooming episodes to... Uh, of filling things up to do. Uh, wow, I can't believe that. That's almost... not annoyed me in a way, but this is... <laughs> It's supposed to be a long episode, you know, guys. Can I get another one right? Unlucky number 13 could be lucky number 13. Probably not. This guy's going to uh, this guy's going to take 40 runs, probably. Knowing the luck we've had lately, but uh, we've had a good couple of episodes, really, though. A lot of 10 runs and under. I'm just absolutely mad. That's a moonstone. That did kind of make me think then. Oh! Yes! Woohoo! Another right guess. Wow, 13 runs then. So we've broke the uh, 10 runs and under, obviously. But I don't care because I am right for once. So there you go, guys. 13 runs. Let me write that down on my tally. 13, did I write down there? No, I didn't. 13 runs. We've got the legendary Moonlight Saga Oz kit, and once again, I got it right. Woo! Go away. Now we can rip through you. Look at that. Down straight away. Let's get all these mates down as well before they uh, screw us. Oh, hello! Well, there we go. Wow! Uh. Okay, not far off then. Oh, three runs off. Damn. 26, 27, 28 runs. Documented. 28 runs. And it was the Vanquisher, not the Celestial class mod. So, uh, yeah, either way, whoever, if you've guessed in the comments uh, Celestial as well, um, I did kind of say that. So, uh, don't, you know, you was guessing for the class mod, not the actual name of it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. We've got the uh, Vanquisher class mod, and like every single class mod I ever get, it's never for the character I want it for. Uh, but yeah, it's for a frag trap anyway. 